Well, tonight, many in the Nitro area have a little more food in their kitchen pantry. That's right, because the Nitro Mission team held its first community-wide free giveaway to those struggling to make ends meet during COVID-19. Reporter Mariah Davis has more in tonight's Good News with 13 report. Well, come on up. School is still out, but you would think it's back in session from the packed parking lot at Nitro High School. I, I never dreamed we would have this many cars lined up here. Nitro Mission Team Director Bill Fortune says the giveaway gives people the chance to have a little extra food in their belly and money in their pockets. People are in dire straits for food, uh, and food has got so expensive, and uh, these people are uh, lower income probably and they need all the help we can help them with. Each car got a heart-healthy box stuffed with non-perishable items, along with eggs, milk, and potatoes, which some people say will help out a lot. I'm on a fixed income, me and my wife, and we have to struggle each month, you know, just to try to get by with three kids. I'm just thankful to God that this was prepared for us and I thank him for the workers. The mission team usually only holds their food pantry on Tuesdays, but now it's added another day. When the stimulus checks came out, the, the need went down because people had money to go buy food. Now stimulus are running out. Those receiving the food say workers need to be recognized for their contributions. These people need to be awarded. They need it. You don't have to pat them on the back, but you need to let the people know that's doing this. Even our frontline people you need to let them know that they're important. Now, the Nitro Mission Team hopes to continue to have this food giveaway every Wednesday throughout the month of November or until the funding runs out. In Nitro, Mariah Davis, 13 News, working for you. Oh, wow, what a, to make a difference in your community like that. Neighbors helping today. neighbors, that's for sure. Now, the Kanawha County Commission and the Greater Kanawha Valley Foundation paid for the food. And the donation helped feed 250 families. Pretty good stuff. If you have positive story ideas like this one during these challenging times, of course, we'd love to hear from you. You can share them with us by sending an email to news at wowktv.com.